Hello guys, welcome once again. This is Tech PBA. In this video tutorial, I will take you through how to add a new printer to your Windows 10 PC using the Have Disk feature in the Control Panel applet. So first of all, I will open Control Panel, click on the Add a Printer, and then click on the printer I want is not listed, and then select the Add a Local Printer or Network Printer with manual settings since the printer i'm adding is a, a a local printer so i'll click the drop down arrow button on the use an existing port and select usb ports in this case i'll select the usb 001 and then click next so over here in the usual way of adding a printer to your pc um, you would come here, select the manufacturer, and then select the printer driver on the right. So I will take you through how to set it up the usual way. I will select the manufacturer and then select the driver on the right using the printer's um, model name and then click next to install it. So I'll select do not share this printer. I'll leave it on the default and click next. Um, I'll select printers page and then the test page printed successfully. I'll click finish to close out of there. So that is the printer we just added to this um, PC. But what if when you go to the add a printer, you don't see your printer listed there or you don't find the printer driver listed there so once again I'll go to the add a local printer um, and uh, use an existing port I'll select the other USB ports just for testing sake click next so what if you come here and you don't see your printer um, or you, you actually see the manufacturer but you don't find the driver you are looking for so let's say you click on the rico manufacturer but you don't see that the associated um, driver on the right under printers so what you you want to do is to open a browser a new tab and then search for the printer drivers of your uh, of, of your printers of your printer using the model number and the model name google it search it in the google search and in my case i search for that particular printer right click on the first link selected open in a new tab and then that is the printer i want to download the drivers for so i'll scroll down on the drivers and then click the download button download the drivers for this particular printer I'll click the download again and then you can see that the drivers is downloading so once the drivers are downloaded um, you want to extract open folder to view the files or the downloaded file and then you want to extract um, the driver file into a folder what we are looking for from that driver file is the um, the I am the dot inf file which is the dot info file for that particular printer so once extracted you want to go into the folder you extracted into, into and then browse into where the dot inf files are so that is the location of the .inf files we are going to browse into that folder to install the printer so when you get stuck on this page and you have your drivers downloaded um, you can click on windows updates to get the drivers from windows updates or you can click on the have disk that is what uh, we are talking about in this um, lesson so click on the browse and then browse to where you downloaded your drivers I'll browse to that location double click and then there you can see three dot inf 
files. They are the setup information files for this particular printer I'm trying to install. So I'll select the third one. Um, you can actually select any of them until you find the correct one. So in my case, it found the driver. So I'll click next. Because of the previous one we installed, it's recognized that the driver is already installed on the PC, but I'll select replace the current driver so that it will replace it with the one I downloaded from the Google website. So I will select that and then click next, click finish, and then go back into the devices and printers under, under computer or under control panel. And then we can see the previous one we installed and then the current one I just Install. So yes guys, this has been a quick video tutorial on how to add a, a printer in control panel using the have disk feature. Please kindly support us by clicking on the subscribe button down this video, share this video, like this video. Bye.